You may have noticed a few changes. I had a creative moment with the new intro. I like to dabble in graphic design and you'll notice I added music to the videos and hopefully the video is a, of a better quality. And I know I can't please everyone but I still have lots of fun sewing projects for you. All this has occurred because you see it my iPad died it was a sad day had to dust off my camera and start using that once again on a lighter note you're gonna love my bracelet today I got it at Walmart and it's a ruler I'm such a nerd I'm on day 22 of my new um, blog and if you haven't seen it head over there type in the three W's and I had challenged myself to do 30 days of doll shirts and I think you'll enjoy it give it a try and that's where you can make comments um, letting me know what you'd like to see next or um, just various things and these are some examples of the 30 day shirt doll shirt challenge for this project you will need a recycled shirt and a roll of tool with gold leaves from the Dollar Tree. Because I have so much of the fabric, I'm going to make get the gathers very full. It was a delightful surprise to find that the back of the fabric was silver leaves. To make the waistband, you wrap the tool around your doll and cut the amount that you need. And then you cut that strip of fabric in half. You'll use one of part of it for the waistband and you'll use the other part of it for the strip of fabric that you put around the hemline. As I fold the strip you can see that the silver and the gold leaves will show. And the other strip will go right above, above the knees. I'm using the sleeveless pattern from my pattern bundle that I sell on Etsy. So first you fold the fabric and then cut out the bodice. I like a longer bodice so I'm going to cut out about an inch longer than my pattern shows. I roll or fold down the armhole openings twice and I'm going to sew a top stitch. When you press this fabric with your iron, make sure that you use a pressing cloth. I just use a man's handkerchief. You do not want to touch the tool with a hot iron. The fabric will melt. I'm not gonna do anything to the neckline yet. I may have to bind or line it later.
and I did cut open the bodice back. I am now sewing about one fourth inch from the folded edge of the waistband just to keep the fabric together when I do the next step. Rather than using pins, I'm going to base the gathers as I sew the skirt onto the waistband. You can see that I'm making wide, full tucks. It would take a lot of pins if I pinned rather than basted the gathers. But if you do use pins, you must take those pins out as you sew. Do not sew over the pins with your sewing machine. Sew right sides together and when you open it, it will be a finished edge. And because the fabric is translucent, I was very particular about making sure my edges were finished nicely. And you can leave it just like this, just a little gathered skirt with a bodice. But I wanted the bottom to be a balloon skirt with the band showing. Next, I top stitch the bodice onto the waistband. Make sure you've left armholes. Now all you have left is to make a simple little tube that she can wear underneath the translucent fabric. You could line the dress, but this little tube is so much easier.